Yeah. We've never done this before. We've never tried to impeach a governor. We have had the impeachment process one time in 1915, and uh, we're, we're basically building off of that. Robert Bentley has said time and time again publicly how much he loves the people of Alabama. And I believe that's true. I believe he loves them. And if he does, it's time to let him go. It's time to put aside his selfishness and step down. That's what should happen. The impeachment process is for us as the representatives of the people of Alabama because we do not have a recall measure in this state. If the people of this state believe that our governor is incompetent and incapable of filling the position, then it is up to us to impeach. And this is really about uh, the checks and balances of government that the Founding Fathers have, have put in place. Um, the legislative branch of government doesn't operate exactly like the, the judicial branch or the executive branch. And the impeachment process, it's, uh, it, it's, it's fortunate that it hasn't been used very often. We do have term limits in Alabama, and we don't have recall. And this is and this is a process where, when when circumstances rise to a certain level, that it, that it it can hold a constitutional officer accountable. I want to say this is not about Democrat and Republicans. Uh, this is about right and wrong. This is the only thing we know for sure today is that nothing that the governor has said is true. This is not about the governor's personal conduct. This is about the allegations against him, including that he obstructed justice within the Alabama State Law Enforcement Agency. We believe there's enough probable cause to warrant asking the state Senate to try this case and, if guilty, remove the governor from office. Uh, I have supported the governor. I supported him twice uh, in election. I supported him before a lot of people thought that he would have a shot at winning. Of the election. So it is sad. It's, it's hard. It's hard for me.